Hey guys, I'm Trent. I'm Michael. In this video, we're going to show you how to make a simple GUI with script. Okay, so a really popular thing that a lot of servers like to do is make a GUI, and that's where you take an inventory and you make a menu out of it. So if we want to do that, we do it in the Minehunt lobby actually for joining servers. We're going to show people how to do it in-game with script on their own. So we're on our server and we have script installed. If you don't know how to install script or you don't know how to install plugins, we have tutorials for all of those. Yeah, there's a whole script playlist, so go check that out first. All right, so I'm gonna go over to my panel and we will see that, yep, script is already installed, but this one requires an add-on. This one is called Tusk. So plugin hooks using script. So this just allows us to do a little bit more with script, including a GUI, and we will show you guys how to use that syntax. So I'm gonna install that plugin. Green check mark. I'm gonna go over to my home and then I am just gonna restart my server to let it install. Okay, so our server's back online. I'm in game and I can see that it has, yep, script and Tusk installed. That is fantastic. I am gonna now go back over to my panel. I'm gonna go into the file manager and I'm just gonna find where my scripts are. Mm, so I'm gonna go to the plugin folder. Yeah, and we're still working in script and with like the scripts. We still have our tutorial SK and oh yeah, the, the cow launcher. So we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that. That was that was a good so one though. Good. If you missed that tutorial, please watch it. It was the funnest one that we've ever filmed. But okay, so we're over in our text editor. Editor. I'm using Adam just in case something happens to my server. I won't lose any of my progress. We're very repetitive on this. Write all of your scripts offline. Yes. So we're going to make a command called slash GUI. Mm -hmm. And when you execute that command, we're going to do like a trigger on it. Okay. It is going to an open virtual chest. So that's sort of just like open a virtual chest inventory with three or sorry, with size three. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just gonna be three rows, not three slots. So it's three times nine yep. uh, named, and then we're just gonna name it menu. Nice. And then that should be it. So the, this is just gonna open up an empty inventory with size of three named menu. Mm -hmm. That's 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 all there is to that part. Copy paste it. Bringing it over in. Paste it in there. You save in the bottom right. And then we're gonna go in game and we're gonna do SK reload tutorial. This will hopefully be the one time today I have to type that. Uh oh. Ooh, we forgot the two player. Okay, so let's try, let's type that again. Um, two player. So that's going to open that for yeah. the player that executed the command. And by executing command, you mean the person who goes slash GUI. Exactly, exactly. And we actually broke our own rules. I wrote this in the editor itself. So uh -huh. I'm just going to, I'm going to make sure I copy it to my clipboard. I'm going to click save, <laughs> not join Discord. And then I'm going to go in game. I'm going to write SK reload tutorial. Nice. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to type slash GUI. And there it is, okay, menu inventory, yeah. So this top one is what we just created here. Now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna populate it with items that let us do things when we click them. Nice. So we're gonna go back over to Adam. So for example, in the Mine Hut lobby, yeah. those items teleport you to server. Exactly, so you click it and then it does something. It makes you join a server. So in this case, we're just gonna make it so that way the weather is raining. That's all we're gonna do. There's gonna be an item in there and it's gonna, when you click it, it'll just make the server rain. And that's it. Okay, so now we just wanna add a nice little item that when we click it, it will make it rain on the server. Cool. So I am going to have it um, add an item to the inventory. I'm gonna put it in the top left, and that is known as slot zero, because it goes like zero through eight on the top line mm -hmm. and so on. Zero yeah. through, yeah. Yep, so we're gonna do format GUI slot mm -hmm. zero, so that's like the, the, like the top, top left, left of player. So it's like the, the GUI that the player has open with water bucket, we're just gonna nice and easy. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're gonna have it say, make, whoops, I need a named, make it rain. We're, nice. gonna, we're gonna make it rain. Who doesn't wanna make it rain on their server? Make it rain, and then two player. Mm -hmm. uh, not, not, a, not a two player actually, the, the two player was last line. Not a two player in this one. Mm -hmm. We already added, we were, we're talking about the player up there. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna move this over. We're gonna give this a shot. Format GUI slot zero player with water bucket named. Make, Make it rain. rain. Safe. Okay, so now we should be able to open this up and just see a water Watch bucket. GUI? Yep. There it is. Ta-da. Make it rain. Nice. Right. So it's there, but we haven't given a... Uh, I click it and nothing happens. Yeah, it is all, not raining. All we've done is make it exist, but we haven't given it a action to execute yet. Yes. So we want to make it actually rain. Now that we have it actually with the item here, we want to tell it to run a command or run an action when it's clicked. Great. To do that, we add to run at the end of the line, and then we're adding a colon, and whenever we add a colon, 
the next line we need to indent to make sure that it knows that this is everything that it does. Or two yes. spaces. Yes, I am indenting. And then what we're gonna do is just add set weather to rainy and script should know that that means we wanna make it rain. Nice. I'm gonna move that over here. Copy paste. Yep, there it is. Save. So we've got our little in indent there. And we're gonna go in game. SK Reload tutorial. And I, it, it's gonna, is it gonna Flash rain? Gooey. Make it rain. Did it? <gasps> or oh, snow. Oh, well, we're in the snow, so. <laughs> Nice. You know, that's how physics works. There we go. And then just to make sure Chemistry. that we, we get a little bit of feedback, we should have it actually Science. broadcast. Yeah. Oh, so whether to rain. We're very repetitive on this. Write all of your scripts offline. And then just a nice little uh, making it rain. Rain, sir. Sir. There we go. I want it to be respectful. Very, yeah, of course. And then we're going we're gonna to go back in game. We're going to... There we go. Making oh, it rain, rain sir. <laughs> okay, nice. thank you. Thank you. It's like you've got Alexa on your server. Exactly. <laughs> um, I, didn't have, I didn't have a good follow-up joke for that. Damn. And that is how you make a simple GUI on your Minehut server.